you guys dolls I literally just rolled out of the bed when I tell you I'm half asleep and I literally rolled out of the bed all I've done is go to the bathroom pee and brush my teeth because I felt like a kid on Christmas Eve I got a message last night at like 1 o'clock in the morning saying my package has arrived and you guys this is my rug this is the rug for my lodging room and I am so excited the fire department is here they're testing our smoke detectors so I'm gonna have to stop this video periodically when the alarm goes off like now of course I could have waited until they left but I literally cannot wait you guys when I tell you I was up all night thinking about this package like oh my god I want to open it now I want to open it now but I'm like no I I have to open it with you guys but I literally felt like a kid on Christmas Eve and I didn't get any I literally didn't get any freaking sleep because I was just so excited oh my god <sighs> You guys, oh my god, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. <gasps> I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. Why am I so nervous? Oh my god, okay, I think I'm scared that it's not going to look like the photo or it'll be the wrong pink color because it happens to me all the time, you guys. When I order pink stuff online, it always never comes the right color. So I kind of need this rug to work because I actually have no other freaking options. Okay, you guys ready? I'm scared. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What if it's not right? Oh my god, please. I'm praying to the rug gods. Please let this be correct. Okay, so the rug I went with was from Urban Outfitters. If you guys watched my last vlog, I kind of talked to you guys about it. And it was well over budget. I didn't talk in my last video about my budget. I'll try to remember to do an intro for this video and talk a little bit about my budget for this project. But my budget for the rug was under $30. I was trying to hit the $20 mark and I actually ended up doing a $50. <laughs> so it needs to be perfect. Also, I have to take something out of the budget that I'm gonna use in there to support the cost of the rug that I bought. So there's that. But let's get oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> I think, I think she's okay. Oh my god, I'm scared. Okay, okay, it's not bad, it's not bad, it's not bad. You guys, it doesn't, the color doesn't look bad. I don't even wanna take it out of the package if the color is bad. I will say, it is giving more or less peach. It says pink slash rose. It's giving more or less peach. Hope you guys can see that. That's the color. I need to take it out. I need to take it out, I need to be able to see it. I also need to be able to see it in the light and I also need to be able to see it in that room because the lighting in a space will change the way something looks. I'm sure you guys know that. So depending on the lighting in that room, this may look peach or it may look pink. We're gonna have to see. I mean, it looks peachy pink. It looks blush in my opinion. The only thing that's throwing me off is that the, the outline of the bow is like more of a corally color. Anyway, I'll show you, you guys will see right now. Is please be cute. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, it's a lot bigger than I expected. Oh, it's really big. Ah, you guys, I kind of love it. I kind of love it. I didn't expect it to be this big. I thought it was gonna be a lot smaller. I think this is gonna be perfect. Ah, what? Oh, you guys, Urban Outfitters popped off with this one. And I love that the background is white because you guys know the laundry room is white as well. It's more of like a cream white. They popped off. Okay, why was this $50 though? I, why was it $50? Somebody please tell me why it was. Well, it was technically $40, but with tax and delivery, it was $50. But why is this rug $50? I, it's so cute. I'm not returning it though, like, obviously. I think it's cute. Also, I just wanted to say that I know this rug was like well over my budget and although you need to try your hardest to stay within your budget, sometimes you're gonna find that perfect piece 
that it's just going to be worth it. It's going to be worth it to spend the extra coin to take it out of the rest of your budget to not spend so much money on another item that you're using or another piece for that piece because it's just so perfect and it makes you so happy. And so I really legitimately couldn't find any other rugs that I liked. And the only other bow rug that I could find that I liked was on Pinterest. And that bow rug was only being sold in Korea. I couldn't get my hands on that rug. So this was the only other option. I actually like this one better. Although I'm a good DIYer and a good creator, I just could not think in my head of ways I could create a bow rug. Like I thought about it, I was like, you know what? I could just crochet a bow rug and stick it on the floor. It wouldn't technically be a rug. It would just be like a crocheted giant bow. Nothing wrong with that, but that was like literally my only other option and I would need time to do that. And I just felt like I wasn't gonna have the time to meet my deadline for the project and stay within my budget. So I just decided to go over budget a little bit. And honestly, I'm not even kicking myself in the butt about it only because it, it looks so good. Like at least I have to try it in the room, but it looks good. Like I'm, I'm so happy I got that. I also don't feel like that rug is going to last very long on Urban Outfitters website. I also looked for the rug on other sites because you know a lot of times they get it from overseas so other sites will have it. I couldn't find any other place in America that was selling the rug. So it was just worth it for me so I just wanted to throw that out there. There's going to be times when you're working on a project in your home where you're going to find the perfect piece and it's not going to be within your budget or there's going to be something off about it. It might not come in the time frame that you're hoping for and you're going to have to sacrifice for the piece if that's what you want. So yeah, I'm happy that I got it. I think it's really, really pretty. Did I need to spend $50 on a rug? No, but I'm going to take it out of something else in the space, I think, and move that way. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say that. Oh my god, you guys, I have to go. I have to get off camera. I have to get ready for the day. It's still pretty early in the morning. The fire department is still here. They're still testing and making noise. So I have to go, but I think the rug is a win. I'm nervous, but we're gonna have to try it in the room to see how it'll fit. I think it'll fit perfectly. It's a 20 by 30 rug, you guys, if you're interested. Urban Outfitters, $39.99, I think. I will try to link the rug below in my description box. If I don't, you guys have to hit me in the comments to remind me, because y'all know I forget all the time about to do the description box. But I will try to leave the link to this rug below in that box. It comes in lavender, it comes in a pastel blue color, and then there's a pink color. It's called pink slash rose. She's cute. She's giving. Okay, now I'm excited. And then also my lighting fixture is supposed to come in today. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, let me go get my life together and then we'll meet back up. I'll look totally different. I'll be cute. I'll be ready to vibe with y'all. So let's go. I'm so excited. Hey guys. <laughs> We're back. I decided to make the room tour its own separate video for those people who only like to watch room tours and don't necessarily care about the process. So it will be a part one, a part two, and then a part three. And also I have a big surprise in the room tour. So there's a project and something I'm gonna do that I don't wanna show you guys on camera. So another reason why I decided to create three part series to it and have the room tour be last so that I can surprise you guys. I'm so excited. I can't wait to surprise you guys with that yeah i want to start out by sharing with you guys the stuff that came in for the room that i didn't show you guys in the last video because we're still waiting on it so i got these two big rolls of ribbon i did not know how much i would need i did measure it out and it seemed like this would be enough like one roll would be enough but i wasn't sure so i did pick up two rolls and it's just like pink like you guys can see pink tooly ribbon and I got this because you guys know I was complaining about the shelves um, above the washer and a dryer like I just didn't like the vibe it was giving like very very utility like very very much like 
I don't know, industrial. And I just wasn't feeling that vibe. So I wanted to frill it up a little bit. So I think I'm gonna try to hot glue this on the straps that hold the shelf logs in place. We're gonna try it out. We're gonna see, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I figured even if I don't get any use out of it for the shelves, I could save this for other future projects that I'm gonna be doing. And then I got a ton of freaking bows, you guys, all different sizes, all different, just all different types of bows. They're all mainly pink. I think I have a few white ones and black ones, but I didn't, I don't, like, that's not going to be a part of the room. So yeah, so many bows. So I'm just going to show you guys. I got one, two, three, four of this bow with the pearl. I think I've shown you guys this bow before. I used these bows on the giant lollipop DIYs that I did for Christmas last year. So it's the same type of bow, but it just has the pearl on it. Super cute. And then I also got some more of the pearl frilly bows that I hung up on the curtains. I was disappointed because these don't look like the same color. I did end up having to go with a different reseller because the seller that I was purchasing it singing from the first time, I guess didn't have any more in stock. So I like found these from a different seller. And unfortunately they do look more mauve than pink. So I'm upset about that, but there are four of them. So I'm gonna see if I can make them work. And if I can't then, we're in trouble <laughs> no then you guys would just see it in the room tour what i end up doing so yeah yeah they definitely look mauvey um and then i got a bunch of these tiny little bows like their clips there's two in each pack i got 10 of them not sure what we're gonna do you guys know i threw out the idea of turning lit pinky's litter box with like putting bows all over her little box i still haven't decided if that's something i want to do or not i kind of feel like probably no but i'm not entirely sure but i just got a bunch of these like small bows and they're just this like more larger size bow or medium size bow that i thought would be cute i was thinking of using this on the chandelier somehow because i actually want to turn oh i didn't even tell you guys i got a lighting fixture and i want to i'm going to be diying it and i'm thinking of adding the bows to the lighting fixture so ooh, we'll see how that goes i have a white bow it came with i think four pink four white or three pink three white and three black i think the black ones will be cute for halloween as well but i don't know what i'm gonna do with the white and black ones right now and then what other bows did i get Oh yeah, and then that's pretty much it on bows. I just got this pack of 100 bows. I did not realize how tiny they were gonna be, so I don't even know that we can use these. And I even thought to myself, I was like, damn, I wish I got got these at the beginning because then I could have did our light fixture with like tiny little bows all over it. So I don't know, I kind of like the big bow on the light fixture as well, so I don't know about this, but they are incredibly tiny. But I figured I could save this as well for like, um, another DIY or project like maybe I can make earrings or something like that I don't know maybe I'll save it for another craft project okay so you guys remember the pink bow tray I did end up painting it so this is what it came out like I do have to go over the bows with gold paint because I did kind of mess those up a little bit but I think the tray looks a lot better and I am thinking about putting maybe pinkies like her bags her poop bags on this and setting it up on the window seal or something like that i don't know entirely yet but we're gonna we're gonna see we're gonna play with it you guys saw the bow rug already it's from urban outfitters i already gave you guys the details on this it is so freaking pretty i'm sorry i'm, I'm sorry i'm sorry but what it's so cute when i look at it i'm kind of like you know what i'm gonna i'm happy i actually got this even though it was pretty expensive it was like 50 dollars. i was thinking about it, i was like one day i'll probably want to do like a bow bathroom and i was like i should have did my bathroom bow theme but it's okay um i'll probably want to do one of my bathrooms bow themed and i was thinking like i'm not gonna keep my laundry room bow theme forever you know i just think the bows right now are really cute and they're trendy but it's not something that i would see like staying in a room long term for me so i'm definitely going to be switching out my laundry room at some point and i just thought that this is a nice rug that could go in a bathroom as well and it's super cute like i'm sorry stop and i would love to have seen like the lavender and the light blue one as well because i think those are pretty colors as well okay guys so i think that that is pretty much it 
for everything new that we have we just got to get in there and we got to get working i think what we're going to do today is start out with the shelves so let's go into the laundry room and diy those shelves Okay, you guys, so don't mind my hair. Like, seriously, I'm a mess today. But these are the, I hope you guys could see what I was doing. Oh my God, I probably was totally off camera. But these are the bands that hold up the shelves, as you guys saw. Um, and I just used the ribbon, cut it to size, and hot glued it on one side of the band. And the plan is to hold it up. Like this I'll have to poke a hole through where the hole is um, with the screw but this is the plan to like hold it up with the frill we're gonna see we're gonna see just I'm gonna show I'm gonna put it together and then I'm gonna show you guys because I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sold on it yet okay guys this is what it came out like Whoop, dropped one but I pretty much just glued the ribbon to the strap and we're gonna try to hang this up right now it did take a lot longer than I expected so that it's been a few a little while also I thought I was gonna need two wheels of this but I actually only need one and I still have extra leftover so hey you guys this is what these shelves are looking like I mean I'm okay with it I do have to touch up the paint on the wood parts the panels but I'm not really a hundred percent happy with being able to see like the strap the inner casing of the strap or the inner lining of the strap so that I'm not in love with so I might just use that other spoolie of ribbon to glue on the other side so it's fully covered I might just do that I'm not 100% sure yet but other than that I think it's looking pretty good it's also starting to match the curtains really really well you have my bag of bows right here so I'm gonna try and put like bows at the top casings let's see so these bows are they different oh no they're the same okay so i might use these bows just so they match the curtain i do have this little pin with the bow so i'm just gonna try and pin it i'm gonna have to show you guys once it's done i'm sorry because i legitimately can't hold the camera and do this <laughs> Hey you guys, so I don't know where I want the bow to go, so these are the options, okay you guys? I, I honestly don't know. So the bow at the top, which is the original way I thought of doing it, um, and then here's the other way I could do it. I could do the bow like at the bottom, at the base instead. Like, honestly y'all, I don't know which one looks better. I'm leaning towards the bow at the top only because I'm afraid that the bow might fall behind the washer and dryer or something like that because it's literally just pinned on the ribbon whereas this one is actually pinned to the hook so I know it'll stay up so 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Hey dolls, so it is another day. I'm not entirely sure what we did the last time I checked in with you. I think we just did the haul of everything I got from Timu. The plan was to try to get the lighting fixture up. I did try the rug. Hey, sorry about that. My camera died. I have a bad habit. Well, I can't see myself in the screen, so I can't tell when it's like about to die and it's blinking. So it just shuts off on me. Anyways, I think the last time we met up, I was uh, trying to install the light fixture and also I wanted to do the cabinets that day as well. I did try the rug. The rug looks so cute in the space, but I also just feel like the more I add to the space, there are a few things, again, it's like a surprise that you guys will see in the episode three, but there are a few things that I'm trying to work on getting done, um, but I have to wait until after I do other things so you guys don't see the surprise, if that makes any sense. But I think it'll look a lot cuter once that other stuff is done and with the rug, I think everything will come together. Anyways, we didn't get the lighting fixture up. Um, I told you guys I wanted to spray paint it gold, but then I had the bright idea to like, if I'm gonna spray paint it, why not just spray paint it pink? But I'm still not sure what I'm gonna do. But anyways, I need pink spray paint for other projects and DIYs I'm doing. So I need to go to Lowe's today and get some pink spray paint or at least see if they have it in stock. There's a particular spray paint color. It's Krylon's Ballet Slipper. That is the only shade of pink spray paint that I've been able to find that I actually like. The other ones just oxidize a little too bright or they oxidize too dark. So I just don't like those other shades. I've tried quite a few spray paints and this is the only spray paint that I'm like right on the money. So I need to do that. And then also I did not do the cabinets because I still haven't gotten the screws. I did find this type of little screw on Amazon and I was gonna order like a box of them but then I was like how do I know what size it is because even though the size is on Amazon there is no size on this screw so I'm not entirely sure how much bigger or smaller it is in comparison to the screw I need like this exact like width and everything but just like probably like twice as long and I'm just not 100% sure because if there's no sizing on the boxes of the screw. So I think the best thing for me to do is to take my little booty to like Home Depot or Lowe's. I think I'm gonna go to Lowe's and ask for some help and ask someone to give me four of these with screws, but like a little longer. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So that's what I'm ready for. I just have on my yoga black pants, this California crew neck, my little cute bow earrings, my cap because we're gonna be walking in the sun, and I'm wearing my juicy backpack today with the little heart and key charm. This is gonna be perfect because I really feel like I need to be hands-free so that I can carry whatever I need to carry and just look through stuff. I also am going to try to uh, film over there because I also need to be getting some hygiene stuff for a hygiene video that I'm gonna do So I'm gonna be vlogging that too. So I'll probably stop at Lowe's Target Marshall's TJ Maxx and Nordstrom Rack. Ulta's over there too, but I have a separate makeup video coming soon with Ulta So I'm gonna wait on that um, I do want to go to Nordstrom Rack though because I'm on the hunt for the lollipop perfume for a video that you guys requested so i want to check there for it but yeah let's go ahead and head into the store i'm going to try to vlog as much as i can on my phone i don't have a lot of space but i'm not going to take my camera out into the public you guys i'm just not comfortable like when i had a car i was a little bit more comfortable because i could just set up the camera in my car and it really wasn't that big of a deal but you know taking the bus and like walking and taking uber and carrying a camera the fear is that the camera will get lost left or broken and it's already acting up so i'm just gonna leave it here but yeah let's go to lowe's and see if we can get everything we need and then i'm gonna come back and we're gonna start working in the laundry room i'm really afraid to do the lighting fixture i need to look at it okay let's go here he is okay I'm pretty sure I can just look at him and like, this girl should not be in the store. I cannot find this screw. And look at all the little screws. This is top aisle full of screws. Like what? I need mean, y'all help. Okay, um, I think I found it, but I'm not sure. So isn't these it? Kinda? 
I don't know. Oh my god. This is like, I don't know. I'm at a loss. I really am. Why does the store make me so freaking anxious? <laughs> It's like going into Narnia. Like, what is going on? I found so many screws. I'm pretty sure that none of them are correct. But we're going to try anyway. So I'm going to go pick up the paint right now. Let's see if they have it, first of all. Oh, look at the pretty plants. I do need a new hanging plant to go outside. But I can't carry this. Uh, we arrived at the paint area. Yay. I low-key want to get some Gorilla Glue for my nails. <laughs> they never have it. It's out again. They never have it. It's the Krylon brand. Um, let's get out of here. I can't take any more of this masculinity. Oh my god, you guys, I hope that this is the right screw. It looks pretty close. I'm scared. We're just gonna have to try it. I can't buy every single screw and try it out. So, you guys, I came to Hobby Lobby just to see if they have the paint, and guess what? They working have it. So, I have to get that. I am so working happy. I found it. Um, somebody's going to get the key to help me get it out. literally that easy to take off you guys oh my god my camera no you guys literally didn't see me i got the light off that was actually borderline very very scary this does not look like an ordinary light i don't know if we can change this out I'm scared. I'm frightened. Very, very frightened. This may not work because the base is actually welded into the ceiling. Yeah, that's great. It's not the best news I've heard. I've got an internet crush. She's not a celebrity, but she's taken. So can't I fall in love? Can't take the hint and give up. My mama told me don't talk to people you haven't met. I guess my mama was right. But it's not cause everybody you meet is dangerous. But cause they'll break your heart. She plays it so cool, making up her own rules And I'm a loser for thinking I've got Any shot in the dark, now it's hitting me hard Tell me what am I supposed to do? Cause I've got an internet crush She's not a celebrity, but she's taken So can I fall in love? Can't take the hint and give up I've got it Okay, 
hey guys y'all probably can't see me good thing because i am disgusting but um i finally finished decorating this little board this is my things to do board it's like a dry erase board i got this a while ago from home goods and it's very very useful it used to be in my office but i took it down because i didn't have a place to hang it in there and i also felt like i didn't use this as much in my office because i had like a planner that i was using and i felt like this was much more useful in like a kitchen or something like that where you can put like household chores down and like if there's no toilet paper we can put buy toilet paper you know um things like that the bow art i think it was a good idea i just don't think it was executed properly and i think it came out like it was it looked like a third grade project and i just didn't like it the more i saw it up on the wall so i decided to replace it until i come up with some other type of artsy idea to replace it with something more practical and i thought this little things to do board which i was going to sell on facebook marketplace but then something said what about what if you just upcycle it because i was kind of over the bling i had blinged out the the frame and I was just kind of like eh not really feeling a bling anymore and then I was like what if I just glue something on top of the bling you can't see the bling and then put it in the laundry room and then this way we can like mark stuff off like but I also have these little bows that I want to glue on them just to keep with the bow theme okay so this is what it looks like without the bows you guys can tell me what you think I think this looks fine without the bows but then I was like ah but what about the bow theme I want to add bows I do have these bigger like ginormous bows that I could put on each side but I kind of low-key want to save these bows for my lighting fixture because I want to I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to DIY that lighting fixture yet so I kind of low-key want to save these for that so my question for you guys is comment below I mean by the time this video goes up I would have made my decision but should I put bows and if I do put bows should it be a pink bow or a white bow I kind of like the white bow because I feel like the white bow is a great contrast to the pink ribbon. But I love the pink bow because y'all know pink is my favorite color. And I like how it blends in without looking like too much. I don't know. I'm leaning towards the pink bow. I really am. I have four of those pink bows, four of the white ones and four black ones. The blacks I'm not going to really use until Halloween. I might use these to decorate something during Halloween. And the past few days have been really hard for me to get into the laundry room to decorate it because it is a working laundry room. So whenever I'm not doing laundry, he's doing laundry. So one day was my laundry day. So I spent all my time in there doing laundry. So it was a mess. And then now today he's doing laundry. And then I still had towels and rugs to wash. So it's just taking a lot longer than I expected. But this is what I'm thinking. Let me know in the comments below. Okay that's it bye so i did go ahead and post a poll up on my instagram so if you guys aren't following me on instagram make sure you do because that's how you get everything as i'm doing it so make sure you head over to instagram and follow me so you can be involved in the polls but yeah i just posted a poll on instagram i want you guys to pick because i literally cannot like i love the pink because it's my favorite color but i also really love the way the white pops against the pink the only problem is there is no other white bows in the office in not the office there's no other white bows in that room so i'm like huh, how would i make these white bows fit with the room but there is other white elements in the room just not white bows i don't know you guys please help me <laughs> i think i'm going to move on to my next project i'm going to give the polls a chance to answer and then I'll make my decision probably later tonight. And you guys will see it, I guess, later. Okay, guys. We're going to start gluing bows on the trash can. I already painted it. I didn't show that part because I forgot. But I got a new glue gun, you guys, because this one broke in. Look how disgusting it is. There's literally glue coming out of the handle. So rest in peace. Here's our new angel. Let's try it. Break your heart. Cause she plays it so cool, making up her own rules. And I'm a loser for thinking I've got. Then he shot in the dark, now it's hitting me hard. Tell me what am I supposed to do? Cause I've got an enemy. 
She's not a celebrity, but she's taken. So can I fall in love? Can't take the hint and give up. I've got it. So as y'all can clearly tell already, it's a different day. And I'm sorry to come at y'all so formal, you know, with like my sit, sit down backdrop. But I have been working on this freaking laundry room. Let me turn my phone off. I have been working on this freaking laundry room and it has just been giving me grief, girl. I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was gonna be super easy. All you have to do is buy a bunch of bow stuff and just do -do 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 -do, put bows everywhere. That's what I thought. No, no, I should have planned a little bit harder, okay? First of all, the light, the overhead light, doesn't come out of the ceiling. Or at least I haven't figured out how to get it out of the ceiling. You guys, the materials that are in the light are so old that like the screws, the wires, everything is eroded and rusted over. When I tell y'all, I was just so sad when I was like, oh my God, I'm not going to have a cute lighting fixture. Like, no. So that's been kind of a letdown. So I've been trying to figure out what to do outside of crying and be like, okay, you know what? We're not gonna cry about this. We're just gonna figure something else out. So I put the lighting situation on the back burner, but I kinda need to figure it out, but I put it on the back burner. So I did get in, however, the wallpaper, it's like sticky contact paper for the laundry room doors. I told you guys I wanted to do something with those storage doors, the white ones, they were just there. And I was like, no, you can't just be here. You have to be doing something. So I ordered some cute wallpaper that I'm about to show y'all in just a second. And while I did that, I was looking at everything else and I was like, you know what? I really am just starting not to like it. Have you guys ever done that? You start a project and then like halfway through it, you're like, fuck like I want to take all of this down right now like I can't stand this this is not cute I want to get rid of it that's the epiphany that I just had the other day I was like I kept trying to do it but at the same time I was just like oh my god I I'm so sick of bows you guys like I don't want to see another effing bow after this video I am so freaking don't get me wrong bows are cute but I just feel like it's it for me personally it's a trending moment it's a trending thing it's a trending moment I'm 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 not gonna want bows probably after this year everywhere and I can already see myself changing that laundry room back around if I don't do it right if I do it right even with the bows I'll love it and keep it if I don't do it right it's gonna get changed okay it probably is not gonna last through Halloween I'm like I don't like the cabinets the cabinets that I painted you guys yeah the pink cabinets that, I don't like it it's giving very much basic anybody can grab a can of paint and paint it pink like how does this stand out how does this inspire creativity emotion thought what's coming out of it and i just looking at those cabinets and i was just getting nothing like nothing out of it and so i was like i have to do something i have to change it up so i'm gonna try to use the same wallpaper if we have enough from the doors onto those cabinets because I was so unsure about the cabinets and just hating it at the moment and I didn't know what to do, I decided not to install the little knobs on the doors until I figured it out. Because why install the knobs only to take it all back apart? So that didn't happen. We're going to look at the wallpaper and it's going to tell us whether or not we should move forward or not with what we're trying to do. Because if that wallpaper looks eh, sketchy, we're done um 
The next thing you guys saw me do last was the trash can. So I had a little mini white trash can in the laundry room and we just used that to like put the lint from the dryer into. We don't put any like real garbage in there. Like we're not throwing out Pinky's poop bags in there. When we clean out Pinky's litter box, I immediately take it out to the trash chute and dump it immediately. It does not stay in the house at all. So we just use that for like lint. And so I was like, eh, it was plain, it's white, let me do something. I spray painted it pink, y'all already know. Ooh, crap, I forgot to freaking finish the TikTok for it. I need to finish that TikTok. I spray painted it pink and you guys saw me gluing a ribbon around the outside of it. That was fine, I was fine with that. And I could have honestly stopped there, except for I just wanted it's like, oh my God, let me just put bows all over the trash can. So I took a bag of miniature little bows. You guys saw me do it and I'm putting these bows all over and halfway through me putting these bows on, I'm like, oh my God, the bows from far away look like X's, like tiny pink X's. And I'm just like, I cannot, I almost threw up. I was just doing it and all of a sudden I was like, oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. It's not cute. So I frantically started picking all of the bows off. And of course they created like scrapes in the paint. So you guys know what I decided to do? I'm gonna show you right now. Here's the hair. I decided does it look cute? Is it giving or is it going? Like I couldn't tell because I did it frantically last night because I was just so upset about the tiny little X's. I was just like, I have to change this right now. I can't wait. I can't wait for tomorrow. I can't wait for the sunlight to film. I have to. Mm -mm. So I glued this bow on the front of it and I glued down these little pearl studs that I had. What do you guys think? I think it looks a lot better than the tiny X's everywhere. But I'm not entirely sold on this as well. I mean, I feel like it's cute, it's girly, it's frilly. How long will I endure it? I don't know, I don't know. I need you guys to let me know in the comments. Where is this going, actually? Because I was trying to think of something to do that was fun and creative, but I just feel like I needed I needed my theme to be a little bit more, a stronger theme. I needed a stronger theme, you guys. Bows is cute, don't get me wrong, and I'm not gonna be like, oh my God, I'm gonna stop this project and not complete it because I'm just over it. No, we're going to readjust. So this happens when you're a creator all the time, especially during design, where you go through your process and you start to hate the thing that you're creating, okay? and you can turn it around babe so what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it around um, i think this trash can is a lot better looking than the x's so we're gonna go with it for now and i'm sure something will tickle my fancy in my brain to give me more ideas of things that i can do but right now i'm gonna leave it just the way that it is um and we're just gonna pick up our pieces and we're gonna keep going and we're gonna readjust so like i said don't like the cabinets we're gonna try to put the wallpaper on it and add the little knobs hopefully that'll make it look better the lighting fixture, I'm just SOL right now. I'm just gonna save that for last because I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Um, I love the bow rug, you guys already know this. I love the bow rug, but when I put it in there, I was just like, oh my God, it really needs some type of bow lighting fixture to match the bow rug. That ugly, I don't know. I just don't know. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna show you guys the wallpaper right now that I got. I also got a bow hook in. Let me show y'all. If you guys remember, is it part one? I don't know if it was part one. I think it was. If you guys remember the little bow hook, of course you do. It's either in this video or part one's video. I got a little gold bow hook to hang Pinky's like little pooper scoopers on and they are cute. And I thought to myself, let me get the bigger one and hang it on the back of the door. But then I realized like the screw, the material of the door is weird and a screw wouldn't fit in there. So I was like, you know what? Let me try to hang it with a command hook. Here's the bow hook. Look at how cute, obsessed. 
Um, I forgot that I had already gone through this and realized that the command hook wouldn't work um, because my idea was that I could hang like my duster and like some of the cleaning supplies on the back of the door like the cleaning like maybe even the broom the problem is this hook if you guys can see it is really really small it's a small hook it looks big because the bow is big but the hook itself doesn't really hook inside of anything can't really hold anything big that's durable so you guys I don't know what I'm gonna do with this hook but I don't think it's gonna make it into the laundry room because it legitimately can't I tried putting the, hanging the broom from here I tried hanging my duster from here nothing works like it has to be something pretty small so I think I'm either gonna try to return it or I think I might just hang it up in here somewhere, like maybe by my door. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, like to hang from it. We're going to get through it, okay? But here's the wallpaper. I got two of them because I thought, I wasn't sure about the size. But I think one is going to be more than enough to do the door, the two little cupboards, and then if I have any left over, I'm thinking I'm gonna do Pinky's litter box. And then if I have more left over, which I think I will, honestly, I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna tell y'all what I'm gonna do because that's a surprise for the room tour. Let's open up the wallpaper and see what she's giving because this could really make or break me. Oh my God, oh my God, I'm so scared. Let's open this one. Oh my god, this could go really wrong or it could be really good. God, please. Please, 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 decorating gods, help me, please. Oh crap, you guys. My nails won't allow me to cut because my thumb can't fit in the shears. Oh girl. This is so weird. Okay, okay. I don't know. See, is that pink or is that white? It's supposed to be light pink. It looks white. It is pretty. There's like a sheen on the flowers. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's like a sheen on the pattern. And it is textured, which is really nice. But I'm really scared because this pink looks super, super light, like almost like white. The only thing I can do is to go test it out, which means this roll, man, look at how thick. That's what she said. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> look at how thick you guys. That's a lot. I don't, you know what? I'm not going to open the second pack because I really don't think I'm going to need it. I think I'm gonna, I can return that second roll. This is a lot. This is going to be more than enough. I'm just... <sighs> Let's go into the laundry room and try to see if we can make this work because I'm I'm getting scared. I mean, it's not bad. It just looks kind of off a little bit. It looks very light. But I would rather it look really super light than to look super, super dark and saturated like the other paper. Okay, let's go into the laundry room and try to see what we think. Actually, I think I'm just gonna put the wallpaper up and then I'm gonna show you guys once I'm done. Yeah, I think that's goat. Okay, yeah. Dolls, let me tell you about the power of persistence, okay? The last time I spoke to y'all, I was like, I'm just gonna return my lighting fixture. We're not gonna have cute lighting. It's gonna be so sad. And we're just gonna have to deal with this ugly lighting. And something just said, okay, before you go to the post office to return this lighting fixture, just try to, I don't know, see if there's any way you can just ply it off. You guys, I tried every single thing. I watched every single YouTube video, could not get this thing off. All of the YouTube tutorials were saying that once you take the screw out, it's supposed to just come right off. It was not. I started to conclude, I'm sorry, I can barely talk. I started to conclude that maybe they plastered this base onto the ceiling which i think maybe they did i don't know i'm not sure but you guys the power of not freaking giving up 
I literally was like, okay, I'm dead. I'm about to put on my clothes and just take this freaking thing. I was spending hours. Look, Pinky is literally in the dryer waiting for me. I spent hours trying to get it off and then finally I said, I wonder if I can pry it off. This was the thing that came through for me, you guys. I used this to just kind of pry around the edges really lightly and it plucked right off. So you guys, we are gonna be putting our lighting fixture up today. I'm so super excited that I figured this out. It also appears that there's like burnt marks. I just feel like this is definitely a fire hazard cause like, and mind you guys, don't worry. I like turned off the power. I'm pretty sure this is like a fire hazard. All of that eroding and like, what is it, rust? And then look, it looks like there was something kind of burnt there. I'm really afraid, you guys. But we're going to go ahead, our lighting fixture is in that box inside of the laundry basket. We're gonna put it together and hang it up, you guys. I'm so excited, let's get to it. So you guys, the first thing I need to do is spray paint the base gold and then we're going to add all of the like beads onto it and then we're gonna hang her up. But yeah, I definitely need to spray paint it gold. I'm using this rust aluminum, I think. Rust aluminum? Yeah, rust aluminum. Rust aluminum? I don't know. It is in the color, um, I think it's gold, just regular gold. What is it called? What color is this? Y'all, look at me trying to be a good YouTuber and give y'all all the details and not even knowing. Girl, this is just a shiny metallic gold spray paint. You can get it at any craft store, Hobby Lobby, Lowe's, Home Depot. I'm just going to spray paint the silver to gold. And yeah, because I our theme is gold, it's not silver. So I'm going to do that right now. I'll show you guys what it looks like after I'm done and then we will start assembling her. Yay, I'm so happy that I got rid of that ugly light fixture. Hey guys, so while the lighting fixture is drying, I have it sprayed. Um, I'm going to actually spray paint the handles. I think I want these to be a little bit more of a brighter gold. And I'm also probably gonna spray paint this. I don't know because I'll have to take it out to do it. I don't know if I'm going to spray paint these handle yet, but I'm for sure going to spray paint these two handles. I just want them to be a little bit darker. These are not even like real handles, if you will. I don't know. The other option is to buy my own handles that I can install and then uninstall them when I leave. Hmm. That's the option. I'm thinking I'm just going to spray paint these gold for right now. I have close myself in here. no freaking idea what I'm gonna what I'm doing like I have no freaking clue this is my first time applying wallpaper outside of the like contact paper I've applied before in the past that I royally screwed up um, there is some issues okay one of the issues is there's a little bit of bubbling happening and I'm trying I'm sorry let me close this I am trying my hardest to get all the air bubbles out but there's just still some bubbling. Also, the paper isn't wide enough to cover like each door. So I have to like apply an extra strip here and I'm really nervous about lining up the seams. That's another issue that I'm scared of. <sighs> but we shall see you guys. My camera's about to die, but I just wanted to show you guys like where I started and what's happening. And I'm sure when I come back to you, it'll be complete guys from tears of frustration to tears of happiness i finally got the wallpaper up you guys this is not an easy task i would highly suggest if you want to do any type of wallpaper 
to just hire a task rabbit hire someone who knows what the f they're doing because it is so freaking difficult just to line everything up to cut the wallpaper i kept ripping the wallpaper because i'm not familiar with working with it so i didn't know how delicate it was and it was just so hard but a whole roll of wallpaper later we wasted a lot of wallpaper you guys i'm not gonna lie to you we are out of wallpaper or we're out of the first roll we still have one other roll left but you guys i think i'm pretty happy with this also i installed the spray painted knobs so it looks a lot better you guys can see the difference right it's like a bright gold and here's like what it used to look like so i might spray paint these handles as well but how cute oh this pinky getting out of the dryer you guys how cute is this so I also thought about wallpapering just like the when let me close this y'all because it's mad loud out there. But I also thought about wallpapering the window seal right here. I think it might be cute and add a little bit of something. Now we have a whole nother roll. I want to wallpaper Pinky's litter box, I think, to match the room. Um, until I figure out what else I want to do. You guys know I decided I'm just going to switch out her little box and buy her new one. But until then, I just don't vibe with the gray. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to use some wallpaper. Also, I have, where is it? A few scraps left over that I think I'm going to use. Y'all know me. I don't like to waste anything. I think I'm going to use it to wallpaper the rest of this light switch cover. Because I was thinking about spray painting the light switch cover gold and then putting the bow back on but now i'm thinking i might just use the wallpaper wallpaper it it might be easier and then put the bow on let's go check on my base for the light i'm gonna probably put the lighting fixture together and then come back to you guys because i don't want to bore you through a long like sped up b-roll of me putting the lighting together so that's the other thing I'm about to work on right now. I'm gonna take a break from wallpapering just because I need a break. And then after the lighting fixture, I think we're gonna start on the cabinets. Yeah, I think we're gonna start on them. I, I, did I say this? I don't even know if I told you this, but I started just absolutely hating the cabinets. I just felt like it looked so basic and it was giving little girl nursery. So it's unfortunate because I bought paint to paint these cabinets so i kind of wasted money there but it's okay because we have the wallpaper and we have lots of it so i'm just going to wallpaper over this and then when i move out i'm going to paint do the same plan take the wallpaper down and paint all of this white back white and then this one i won't need to paint back white i'll just need to remove the wallpaper so perfect it's so pretty it looks like a new room y'all and with the look at this y'all with the little gold bow and then last other thing i was thinking about and you guys let me know should i put wallpaper in the little indentions of the door just to tie the whole room together i also need to figure out where to store this like clunky stuff because i actually don't like it there i mean i know you know where else could you put it but i don't like it there so i'm gonna figure it out i'm gonna probably have to clean out the storage cupboard which <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that and just squeezing it in there somewhere but yeah you guys coming together let me go ahead and work on the lighting fixture and then I'm gonna hit you guys up after that I'm like, what in the world? I'm so confused by this. Because everybody you meet is dangerous. If I could still break your heart. Cause she plays it so cool, making up her own rules. And I'm a loser for thinking I've got any shot in the dark. Now it's hitting me hard. Tell me what am I. <gasps> you guys! it is so freaking pretty now of course we're not done with it i want to add some type of bows or something to go along with the bow theme because i want it to all be like bows so i don't want to go too crazy because i'm also thinking about leaving the chandelier up after i move out I, I kept the old light so if worst case scenario if i want to take this one with me 
I'll just switch it back out. But I'm also thinking about just leaving it up. So I don't want to go too crazy and do anything that would like damage the light too much. So here's what I'm thinking. You don't know I had some little bows in here. These little bow clips. And I'm thinking about, I was initially thinking about gluing these around the base of the light. You know what I mean? Like around the crown of it. But then I was like, do you really want to do that? Because you might not like that later on and you might want to remove it. But then you've already glued it. Maybe you can just take these since they have little clips on the back. And don't mind my dirty nails. I've been working with this lighting fixture and wiring and it's disgustingly dirty. Um, you can clip the bows on there. So I'm gonna try that first and see if I like that. And then pull the side, I think. Hold on, hold on. You guys, sometimes I don't know what comes over me. Like something comes in my body and just takes over me and it creates this freaking beautiful art oh my gosh she's coming together you guys I, I now i believe in it i told you guys i wasn't sure i was like oh, i want to quit it's not looking right now i believe it we're back on track baby i have the vibes so the last thing i want to do today is try to do the cupboards i'm gonna try to do them but I'm not 100% sure they'll get done today. So you might see me again today once the covers are done or you might see me tomorrow once the covers are done. We're gonna try, you guys. It is the next day and oh, you guys can see I finished the cabinets last night. And you guys, this was a knot for the faint of heart. Hold on one second. Sorry about that, you guys. The door is wide open because my kitty's outside and I heard someone at the elevator, so I just want to check on her, make sure she wasn't freaking out. But yes, we finished last night. This was actually not for the faint of heart. This is this project was very annoying and tedious. That girl don't look too close, okay? Because I did have some issues with cutting and sizing like the paper to these like little indentions. For some reason, my X-Acto knife doesn't really cut this type of paper well. This paper is like almost like a paper towel material. I don't know how to describe it, but it just like frays very easily. So that was an issue. But I still think from afar it looks good. I'm still happy with it. I also had to install the little knobs. Um, and you guys, remember when we went to Lowe's to get the screws? Guess what? The screws actually didn't end up working. They were actually way too long for the knobs. So the knobs were like sagging and hanging off. So I actually went into my toolkit and I actually ended up finding some extra screws that I had in there that actually worked perfectly. And I just added like a nut to them um, to make it fit and tight. So I did that. So yeah, that was that. I was like a little freaking out. And then I had to drill the holes because you know, these cabinets did not come with holes and we had to keep opening it like this. I hate opening the cabinets like that. And now look you guys. <sighs> gagged don't look at my nails don't look at them I'm gonna do them actually I'm about to go out of town anyway so I'm gonna do them for that but you guys it is so freaking cute I'm obsessed with it um, oh and then the other thing we did is uh, we did a wallpaper the light switch because I was just trying to get rid of the white light switch it didn't look right it didn't match anything um, and initially I was going to spray paint it gold, but I thought maybe the wallpaper would just be easier. So I did that. And then also I readjusted this like little things to do sign. It was a lot lower and it was just bothering me. I don't know why, but for some reason it was bugging me. And I think it's because our washer and our dryer, we pile up baskets of laundry. So it was really hard to get back here to like write on the board and stuff. And now that it's higher not a problem it is a little too high but i'd rather that than have it down here so i hung that i think it looks better and then that's all we did so today you guys let me just tell you what the plan is girl today i wanna i decided since i have so much wallpaper left 
that I'm going to do the sockets of the doors and I also decided I'm going to try to hang this hook one more time this door is like a weird material you guys like a plasticky cardboardy material it's not actually wood so it's hard to nail through it but I'm gonna try one more time and I think I'm gonna try a shorter screw with it just so it doesn't have to go too far in and then put that right there and then I figure sorry guys about the noise and then I figured um, we could hang Pinky's leashes and her collars from here. Oh, that's the oven. I need to go eat something. But yeah, we can hang Pinky's collars and leashes from here. And I think that would be a good idea because that's literally the only thing you could hold. It can't hold like a broom or anything like that. The hook is way too small. I have been trying to figure out what to do with this hook because I don't want to return it. It's so cute. But I think I'm just going to try the door one more time, you guys, and give it one more chance. And then after this, we're done with it. Okay, guys, let me go get something to eat. And then I think we'll come back in here and then I'll set you guys up to work on the door. Damn. Oh, my God. Okay, guys, I don't know what I'm going to do because the wallpaper won't stick to the door because the door is like i told you guys it's like a weird material i don't know it's like plastic sir don't mind how crusty i look i'm gonna try to come back to you guys when i have this under control because right now i don't and it's frustrating me just a, a, a little bit Hey you guys, so I got the paper up. This was a lot harder because it has like the indentions you have to fold on. So I do have corners and edges that are coming up. I'm just gonna cut those off so it all lays flat, but we finished the door pretty much. I just have to clean it up a little bit. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hang a little bow hook. I think I need out the freaking drill girl get out of here check her out look at her okay so she's definitely cute af and it actually worked it tried to give me a little bit of drama at the beginning but she quickly calmed down so ah, it's so cute and it matches with this door and then this it's so great okay so i'm gonna get pinkies like little stuff like her leashes and her charms and are not charms but necklaces necklaces girl i think my cat is a human her leashes and her collars and i'm gonna hang them there really quick i actually don't think i showed you guys me doing this but i did use a little bit of the scrap paper in the inner casing of the window i didn't go up the size because i kind of wanted to think about that i just feel like the window sill is cute so I don't think about adding it up that way, but for now, this looks pretty good. Okay, so that's pretty much it, you guys. Anything else I need to show you guys is going to be after I do the thing that's supposed to be a surprise for you. So I want to keep my surprise a secret. So I'm going to show you guys the rest of everything in the room tour, which will be video number three. But yeah, you guys, everything's coming out pretty good. I think 
I'm going to actually end the video, this episode here. Can y'all see me? No, y'all cannot. Yeah, ooh, that's a bad angle. Because you guys can see my pimple patch because I'm on my period. <laughs> um, okay, you guys. So, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end off this video here. I think that I only have like two or three more projects in that room before it's completely done and just a little bit of touching up to do on the covers just I want to cut the wallpaper a little bit more seamless around the corners and everything with an exacto knife and that's just gonna take some time for me to do but the projects that I have left to do are going to be a surprise for you. So I can't really show you guys that. You'll see it in the next video, which will be the room tour. So I'm going to end off this video here. I don't know when you guys are going to get this video. I'm going to throw it in the mix probably like this week or next week. Next week, actually this week, Thursday, I'm leaving out of town so today is tuesday so i literally oh my god y'all i always wait till the last minute to do things i literally did not do anything for the trip i have so many things i need to get so many things i need to have done before i leave and i am not going to start doing them probably until tomorrow which is the day before i leave anyways you guys will probably get this video either this week or maybe next week i'm gonna like upload a few pre-filmed videos while i'm on vacation and then after i get back from vacation i'll probably start uploading the content from the vacation yeah i think that's best just so we don't miss a day we're trying to stay on our goal of four videos a week this month um so yeah doll so i think that's gonna conclude this video i feel like we got so much more done in this video than we did in the first video i feel like the first video was like the start of things and i know there was some struggles uh, throughout this episode like the cabinet knobs not having the right screws um <laughs> things coming the wrong color um, just things not fitting i know we had some issues also halfway through the project i kind of <laughs> was just ready to give up like quite a few times and i'm happy i stuck it out because it really started to transform into something more and i do really feel like the more i do the more i can see if that makes any sense like um, if I do one project, then I can see another project and I'm like, oh, I should do this to tie in that. So it really did work out. I think not giving up on the lighting fixture, which I was literally packaging it up to take it to uh, drop it off at Amazon, literally packing it up. And something said, you know what, just just try to pry that lamp off the wall because there's no way that they like glued it or used an adhesive to stick it to the wall i don't know why it was that stuck i think it was just very old there was a lot of eroding underneath it and i think that's why it was stuck to the ceiling because it wasn't even screwed in that tight and i took the screw out and it still wouldn't come off it was weird but i'm happy i stuck it out i'm happy i just kept thinking what else can i do what else can i do instead of giving up on it so I'm happy about that. The lighting fixture came out so much better than I had ever expected. I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with that. So, and I'm also really happy that I went with the wallpaper print on the cabinets. I thought I was going to do paint and, hmm, I liked the color of the paint. I just didn't like the vibe of it. I felt like it wasn't creative enough. And I always wondering, I'm sorry guys, if you hear people in the background, my roommates here, but... I was always wondering like why don't I use more prints and I really do want to get into using more prints and patterns and not just the solid pink base because I feel like prints will help me add more dimension without adding a bunch of different shades on so um, I'm gonna start trying to use some prints in my home decor a lot more you guys that really inspired me as well but yeah I'm really happy with the way that it came out in terms of our budget I do feel like we went over budget and we will sit down and talk about 
all of that I think in the room tour at the beginning of the room tour I'll probably chat with you guys about how much I set for a budget how much we spent and all of that stuff because I still have projects left to do so I can't really do that in this video but I'm pretty sure we definitely went over budget one we bought the paint and then we really didn't end up needing it you know I can use it in other places of my home so I'm not pressed about it but that was a loss and then uh we bought some other things that just didn't end up working out and i had some other contact paper that i originally went to use that didn't work out so i just had a lot of things that i purchased that didn't work out so i had to switch it over so that took a dent in the budget and then also um the rug the rug was not supposed to be that big of a budget it was supposed to be no more than like 30 40 dollars and it actually ended up being like around i think 50 or 60 dollars with tax and delivery because the delivery was like 10 dollars, so i think it came out to like 60 dollars um that was a little bit annoying but at the same time i had searched for a bow rug for so long like before i even started decorating that laundry room when I was just laying out my plan and trying to build a mood board I had been looking for a bow rug I knew that I wanted a bow rug and for months I couldn't find it so when that one popped up I just felt like it was meant to be and that I should take the chance on it so I I'm happy I got the rug because I feel like it matches perfectly but I'm also kind of like dang because it did take a hit on my budget my budget by the way was $150 <laughs> I feel like I was a little bit ambitious with that only because I knew that I was going to get a, a pro predominantly a lot of the stuff from Timu so I knew a lot of it was going to be cheap and I also thought that I would buy a lot of the stuff from like Ross and like TJ Maxx and Marshalls like those types of stores in Burlington so I was like you know it's not going to be too bad because I'm not going to spend that much money and then I also did end up recycling a lot of things and reusing a lot of things which I was really proud of myself for doing instead of buying something new typically I'll buy something new but I'm happy that I upcycled what I had that helped a little bit but yeah I did go over budget I like I said I'll tell you guys that the final <laughs> the final expense was but I'm so happy that we got to do this video and I'm so happy that I was I'm so happy that I got to do this project and I'm so excited to see the finished product like I'm so anxious just sitting here thinking about okay what is the, the finished results because it's in my head but you know you really don't know until it's done so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and stop rambling. I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you all so much for watching. Please do subscribe if you are interested in seeing more videos from me. I would love to have you as part of the dollhouse. And yeah, I love you and I hope you got inspired and I will see you in the next video. Bye baby dolls. Mwah.